Cristallo Word was released in 2009 and created by Jacques Porge, the previous in-house perfumer of Chanel, the father of their current nose Olivier Porge. It is a flanker of the original classic crystal that's been on the market since 1974. But the truth is, they don't have a lot of things in common. I'm not overly familiar with the original crystal, but I've smelled it a few times and it can be described with pretty much the same adjectives as over, but they are not related at all, in my opinion. So how does over smell like? The opening is very powerful, fresh and sparkling citrusy. A lot of lemon, bergamot and grassy greenness in the background. Hence the name Overt, which means green water. As it begins to dry down and the citrusy start to fade after a few minutes, Neroli appears, bringing its own citrusy character and floral sweetness. And uh, jasmine can be perceived at this stage as well. Now, Neroli seems to be kind of unstoppable, because after a while it gets very dominant. It becomes waxy, fatty and a bit honey-like, which I really don't like. But luckily this aspect is not very strong in the air. I'm obviously describing the scent smelled from a close distance. After around 30-40 minutes, Overt becomes very gentle and quiet. The waxy neroli character disappears almost completely, but some of the honey sweetness stays and you can still smell the residues of citruses and greenness and some bitterness. So you are probably wondering, why the freesias? Let me try to explain. So to me this perfume is perfectly unisex, there is nothing overly feminine about it. When it comes to me wearing it, I do picture the aforementioned notes having on my skin. But Overt is a fragrance marketed for women. And the dry down can be interpreted in a different way too. Citrusy, sweet, green, slightly bitter and almost peppery. This is how freesias smell like. But Overt does not exactly smell like freesias of course. The smell of freesias is dry, almost pungent, and the honey-like sweetness can be pretty strong in full bloom. Overt is more like whispering, soft, blurry and dreamy freesias with some extra musk in the background. Now, the official note pyramid mentions magnolia, not freesias. And I'm not familiar with the smell of uh, magnolia, but it is described by most people like freesias. Waxy, citrusy, sweet, bitter. So maybe it is there in the scent, but I love the freesias association because, well, aren't they beautiful? And uh, I haven't smelled overt on a, on a woman yet, but I will do my best to fix this as soon as possible because I think a nice soft female skin could definitely do wonders with it, um, probably make it a bit more creamy or something like that. Crystal Overt is not a unique perfume. It is very simple but beautiful because it has that signature Chanel polish and magic. It's simply a joy to have it on skin. It doesn't have good longevity either, even though its concentration is slightly above all the toilet, so it can and should be sprayed liberally. It is suitable for warm months, obviously, but to me, it's the best in spring, like the freesia blooms in spring outdoors, being one of the new messengers of hope, symbolizing trust, thoughtfulness and innocence. Crystal Overt is a bewitching, fresh scent of me. <laughs>